What's up, you two? What's up, you two? Welcome to Renegade. As you can see, I'm fin to get this Renegade back 100%. And if you're tuning in, make sure to subscribe, join, and hopefully we get to a trail sometime soon. My car is just apparently acting on me, but it's cool. I got a trail down the road, even got the backyard to ride um, to make little videos, but um, trying to grow and expand, you know, hopefully. I know we will. Um, road to 5k so if you haven't joined join um, and uh, thanks for watching i appreciate it let's get in this video so if you watched the recent video apparently this uh, ball joint the older one i had i messed it up on my press uh, so i got a new one uh, it came in and now i'm going to install it on a new one this is our new a arm uh, for the lower uh, we already have um, everything pretty much installed except for this lower uh, ball joint or ball joint, whatever. Anyway, y'all see me all sweating stuff. I'm cutting the yard right now, trying to clean up around here and stuff because it look really filthy and nasty. So yeah, let's get to it. So the recent process, um, um, if y'all watched the recent video, if you haven't, go back and watch the recent video and watch my other trail videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, anyway, we just got to go back uh, in reverse order. Uh, I got some new bolts uh, from the dealer and all that. So that was pretty much it. I was pretty sketched out on getting the ball joint from online because it was just too sketchy and uh, risky for me and i didn't want to get the wrong part and stuff and also one more thing i got this uh, little thing right here i forgot what you would call it don't don't judge me I, I don't know i just ordered it um because i seen on the facebook group on the can -Am outlander group a lot of people were switching over to these some people said it's not a good idea to have it because the air box is plastic and if it get crushed and stuff this is more likely to do more damage compared to uh the plastic um piece if you know what this is um you know let me know i forgot what it is i can't think of it right now off the top of my head um yeah anyway that bad boy is going to go right here this is the plastic piece i heard these are known to break so hopefully sometime i just change it out with this one uh, just like a billet aluminum uh, if i'm mistaken and i bought it so we're going to end up putting this on. All right, so guys, this is the ball joint right here. This is my A-arm. Basically, I'm going to put this in here like this. Um, make sure you have something bigger uh, just to go on the outside diameter uh, to push in. Uh, it's kind of going to be hard doing this, sort of, kind of, I think. I don't know. Maybe I need to, like, stack something up um, just to press down on it. Uh, so I will get back with you. So guys, this is my ball joint right here. This is my AR. So only thing I have to do is just put it like this. You can use some grease uh, to lube it up to make it uh, easier. I also got my press. If you don't have a press, I know you can use a hammer uh, to do it. Make sure you have a big enough uh, socket just to reach, uh, uh, to have this bigger diameter of this little hole right here. I really don't know. But anyway, just hammer it in or use a 12 ton press, top press from Hobbit Freight. There you go. <laughs> Now we put in the ball joint in the AR. This is pretty fairly <laughs> easy, but at the same time, you see me struggling, trying to, you know, get it lined up. Like I said, I messed up the other ball joint. Um, I think I was just going too fast. As you can see, it's not lined up correctly. So we're gonna have to get that straight. There she go. Now she in place. Now we can press it down. And this is going in easy. Make sure to grease it up uh, just to make it much easier. But man, it's very satisfying when it's, you know, getting pushed down. All right, guys, so we got it as you can see. It's kind of hard if you uh, don't have one other person. I'm going to give it some wax back. I'm going to put the clip in and I'm going to whack it in. But if you're one of these tools, they're pretty good. You can uh, go in and out if you need to take the ring off. It expands out if you need it. Wait, if you need it in, it, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me just cut it. Anyway, we just, there we go. As you can see, we got her in. Now I'm finna just hit a, uh, get a hammer and just hammer it out, and uh, that's pretty much it. This is the old one right here. Uh, this is my new one. All they rather do is just change this bad boy over to this, and uh, that's pretty much it. 
All right, guys, this is our broken arm. We got a new one transfer. Well, home, we got the ball joint and all that. We got everything perfectly on. Now we just got to slide her in uh, and put her on. So y'all gonna see it afterwards. And we're gonna see if I will is straight and probably give it a test drive. And uh, that's pretty much it. See ya. All right, guys, after a million tools, we finally got this suspension all together. Um, I'm actually happy with it. We made sure everything was nice and tight. I didn't uh, torque everything, but I made sure I had got some good Uggs out of it, you know. Uh, but everything is nice and tight. Uh, what I'm going to do is just put this tire on, uh, see how she look. Make sure, you know, she's straight like an arrow. Um, and that's just pretty much it that will conclude. Uh, I see with the new A-arm, they put the little grease um, port up top instead of on the side I guess for easier access um, but other than that everything fitted up really nice I got everything nice and tight oh yeah guys she looks straight as an air rule now man she is straight as an air rule Alright, now I'm going to drop her down and uh, tighten her again. Oh yeah, she's straight. Oh yeah, she's sitting nice. Oh yeah. Guys, I got to laugh at myself sometimes. I thought the whole thing was on the ground. I once I, you know, lowered it as you've seen. I was like, why in the world is this thing? But I forgot uh, jack, so make sure all your jacks in your area and all that is clear. So anyway, I'm still tightening her up anyway. I'm gonna just uh, put her down, jack her up again and get her some jacks. All right guys, so she's straight as an arrow. The only thing I need to do is just test drive her. Uh, she looks straighter than where she was before. Everything feel nice and tight. Steering still feels straight, looks straight. Um, you know, just to make my unit more uniform i decided to get two hand guards and uh if you made it this far thank you you are a true og and um uh, recently this week was my birthday uh i really enjoyed it uh i wish i was able to ride a renegade but you know things happen and stuff so at the end of the day um we gotta do maintenance and we gotta make sure our machine is taken care of uh, even though we didn't beat on it we're gonna fix it i'm planning on getting a new horn uh, for my Renegade because every time, you know, I go at high speed, the thing be like uh, rumbling and stuff. It feel like my machine is not like in uh, one piece. It feel like it's, you know, well, the machine feel good and stuff, but it's just that one horn that's just kind of aggravating with the clips, which I'm, you know, showing you right about now. <laughs> Probably out of after being off a couple of weeks. 